One, two, three, mmm. Some say that love don't hurt, but I've got you stuck in my memory. Some say that hearts come burn. Hey, everybody. <laughs> introduce myself? <laughs> Hi, my name is Cody. What are you doing here? I'm renovating. Am I like introducing myself? Like. Yeah, you're, so, my, you're my work. What is it? Contractor? No. Like, I'll check the oldies. You're my hired work. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Hey Zeus. We just got done having a little break eating some snow cones. Graham has red all over his face. But you guys want but you guys want more detailed and longer videos. So we're painting and sanding. Well mainly Cody painted and sanded today. And we so we're gonna tell you what kind of sandpaper we used, how we did it, all the details, all the deeds. We're gonna tell you everything. So what did you use? I what used, was the best one? 120 was the best. 120 it, is the best. The the 80 and the 40 took it off super fast, but the um like I said, it just left a rough finish, so I had to go back over it. Hold on, hold on so for those of you that don't know much about sandpaper, if you just flip it over, it's on the back. And then also smaller the smaller the number the rougher the grit is yeah the harder it it's is it's really really hard the higher the number 120 I even have 220 over here um, the higher the number the softer it is um, yeah, you can see the difference so we took off those hideous freaking blinds that all RVs have and there's clearly holes left over. So Cody, wood putty? Yeah, wood putty. Cody put some wood putty in here, but we also wanted to show you how we did it real fast because you wanted more detailed videos. So first he sanded it a little bit to get it all like flat and smooth. And now he is going to- I just ran over to Ace Hardware. They had uh, some Elmer's wood filler. Um, it's honestly a little tub like this is pretty cheap, it's only a couple bucks. But uh, you just push it into the holes and then try to smooth it out. Honestly, with it being this small of a hole, your finger sometimes works a lot better. Just push it into the holes that are there. This works good if you have a big gouge or a chunk of wood missing. Um, the reason you want one to do this one is to have a smooth finish did he just fall no he's good no he fell just sat down really hard he just sat down really hard. um one reason you want to do this is so when you're painting you have a nice smooth finish uh two if you have um a hole in the wall and you're painting over it um it'll the hole will fill up with paint and then um, leak out while it's trying to dry. Whereas if it's nice and smooth, you won't have that issue. Uh, I've once, had that issue many times. Yeah, once you have this on there, you let it dry. I think this one says for 15 to 20 minutes. And then just, again, real quick, just take your sander and hit it just really smooth, really quick. Uh, it doesn't take much to sand this back flat again. Um, <clears> and then, yeah, good to go. No hole in the wall. Thanks for your help, Cody. Yep. You wanna see yourself? I don't really know. I don't like the way you're beautiful. I look on camera. Cody, you're beautiful. I know, thank you. I, mean, I really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. But I just, you know, I don't feel like I'm really photogenic <laughs> I'm at really all. I'm really having a lot of fun doing this too. <laughs> to me? Yeah. It's like, rude, mean. M not rude, mean, yeah, mean. Mean would it be the be word. It could be rude. I could be both. No, it's mean. It's, no, it's just mean. I'm teaching Maddie, my friend, how to make a TikTok. So, you filmed all the way to 60 seconds. And in, let me see the lower part of the screen. So you can go to trending is what I like to do because I feel like the trending video songs or the trending audio, they do better. 
So pick your favorite song. And then even on the little sides, you can save your favorite songs. Okay. Do that one. There you go. <laughs> Yep. Nice. Okay, so we already wiped down 90% of the room. So we don't really have a whole lot of water in the bucket, but normally you want to have a pretty full bucket. This Otherwise... was how bad the entire room was. We still haven't cleaned down this. And yeah, I have pistachios in my room hiding. Don't judge me. So Arnie emptied out all the dirty water. We're just doing a quick little snippet to show you guys what to do. Um, you want to get your sponge wet, wring it out pretty well. And then... Um, a continuous one direction you want to start probably from the back or whatever or from the top and work your way down just one continuous direction you'll see all the dust that comes off um, of the surface that you're working on oh yeah I can see it perfectly right there and so once you make a few wipes and you get a pretty dirty spot it's just very satisfying flip your sponge over nice clean side again And then rinse it out and do it again. Um, Don't even think about so it, Graham. <laughs> Did Cody reason, get some on your face? <laughs> the reason you take a sponge or a wet cloth or whatever, your hair is everywhere, by the way. Sorry. Just so you know. Sorry about that. Um, the reason you wipe everything down with a sponge or a wet cloth once you're done sanding um, is because the sawdust left over from sanding uh, once you start actually painting is going to clump up in the paint and it'll make a really nasty globs while you're wiping it onto the walls or on the countertops or cabinets or whatever so to get a nice clean finish and make it stay consistent and pretty you just wipe all the sawdust off Cody came over, he's here to help me finish paint. He's outside painting and sanding the um, cabinet doors. So I'm going to turn the camera over to Cody, let you watch a little fast play of Cody doing his thing, and I'm gonna try and get this crazy kid to bed. It's time to go to sleep. You're not supposed to be eating donuts. It's bedtime. Yes. So while we were renovating, um, we heard about liquid sandpaper. Um, from a YouTube video and figured we'd go ahead and try it out. Um, it works pretty well, uh, shake pretty good, get a w rag that you don't really worry about trashing afterwards and uh, saturate it with the liquid sandpaper and then just go to town and wipe off everything. Um, circular motions, press down pretty, give it a good, pretty good pressure. Um, you're not going to see paint come off or whatever is on your wood, you're not gonna see it come off. It's just to get the lacquer coat, the clear coat on top of the wood that you're about to paint off. Um, that way when you go to put paint on your wood, it actually sticks instead of flaking off because the clear coat won't allow the paint to stick to it. So the liquid sandpaper just takes that top coat off and allows you to apply primer and paint without having to worry about it flaking. Before I sleep Hear the crickets, see the moon Side by side and through and through No limit to what we can do Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright oh, You and I, we got it oh. Okay, so the room is finally finished. I'm going to show you guys that in just a second i'm gonna wrap the vlog up right here though i appreciate you guys subscribing to my youtube channel and watching my videos and all that kind of stuff it means the world to me i love what i'm doing and i'm so glad you guys are enjoying what i'm doing as well so 
I'm done talking and being a savvy weirdo. Here is the bedroom.